Hey guys, welcome to another Code with Chris video. And in this one, we're going to talk about how to easily play uh, some video streams in your app. Now we're going to go through two ways. One is to play a full screen uh, video in another view controller. And the next way is to play kind of like an inline video uh, in your view. So let's get started. We're going to create a new Xcode project, a single view application. And we're just going to call this one, um, how about video stream demo? I'm just going to save it on my desktop. And the first thing you're going to want to do is stay on this um, project settings screen. Scroll all the way down to linked frameworks and libraries and click the plus icon. And what you're doing here is you're adding additional frameworks to your project, which will give you additional functionality depending on what you need. Uh, by default, it doesn't include everything, or else you'll have you'll end up with a lot of functionality that you don't need. So we're gonna search for media, and we're gonna add the media player framework. And just double click that, and you're gonna see it added to this list that you've got here. Okay, now we're gonna go to uh, the storyboard and this is where you're going to customize your view uh, over here on the lower right hand side make sure that you can see this pane if not you've got this button to bring it uh, bring it into view and as well make sure you're looking at this list of um, elements if you're not make sure you're on this tab the object library and yours might look like this actually this is another view that you can you can do so search for button uh, and this shows up so I'm going to drag that onto my screen and then in the properties the attributes inspector here I'm just going to change that to play and what we want to do is when we click this uh, we're just going to want to launch the video player gonna move that down here a little bit and now we're gonna hook up an event basically the event when someone taps it we're gonna hook up that event so we can add up add some code to it so go up here and click this assistant editor button you're gonna see two panes now uh, on your left hand side you want to keep the storyboard in view and on the right hand side you want to look at view controller.m and what you're gonna want to do is hold down control on your keyboard and then click this button and drag over here in between the at end and the closing curly brace of the of any method so you could put it here uh, or here in fact actually it won't let you put it inside a method and it won't let you put it here so it's kind of foolproof proof uh, you're gonna want to let go of your mouse button and it's gonna pop up a dialogue and here we can add a name for the method I'm gonna call this play clicked so this is the method with the code inside that's going to execute when someone taps that button. Okay, now I'm going to switch back to single view and I'm going to go to viewcontroller.m. At the top here, I'm going to want to import uh, the media player. Okay, and that's uh, that's the one that we're going to use to play. I'm going to open up a pair, a pair of curly braces in between the at interface and the at end. And this is, keep in mind, this is still in the .m file, okay? I type in MP movie, and then you'll see the list populate. I want to pick MP movie player view controller. And keep in mind, there's an MP movie player controller. Right, that this is the inline. This is the one you want to use if you're going to play your video inline in your view. This is the one you're going to want to use if you want to launch a new, like, full screen type of view. And we're going to go through both. So I'm going to start with MP Movie Player View Controller. Okay, so I'm going to player. Okay, so I'm basically declaring a new instance variable to hold the reference to uh, the movie player view controller object that I'm going to create okay and I'm actually going to change the name add an underscore there just to indicate that it's an instance variable and so this variable is going to be available throughout the class uh, in 
in any method because it is an instance variable. Okay, so down here, back in play clicked, I'm going to uh, allocate and initialize a new MP Movie Player View Controller object and assign it to this variable here. Um, actually, before I do that, because I I know that I'm gonna want to pass in a URL um, during the create during the initialization, I'm not gonna do this yet. First of all, I'm gonna create an NS URL. Call it video stream URL equals NS URL um, URL with string. And here we're going to pass in a string that represents the video stream that we want to play. Uh, so I was I don't have any streams. This this video actually came up because I had a question from a member of my video course, and he was asking me. Uh, where to host his videos. So he found a solution for Vimeo. Vimeo has a pro plan, which I think is $200 a year, or, or maybe it's $20 a month if you pay monthly. And what it allows you to do is upload your own videos, but it gives you a streaming URL um, to those videos that you can, you can put in here and you can play your videos through your iOS app. So that's what he's gonna do. I, I didn't have that, so I had to just Google for some uh, streaming URLs that I wanted to test it with. So I found this page and I'll probably put this link in the description and I'm just going to take one of these streaming URLs for testing purposes and put it in there. Okay so now I have my NS URL which I'm going to pass into the initialization of my MP movie player view controller. Okay so underscore player equals MP movie player view controller alloc so I'm allocating it and init with content URL and I'm gonna pass in my video stream URL okay and believe it or not we are very close to being done um, all we have to do now is the view controller has a method so we're saying self Present and the method is called present movie player view controller animated. And all you do is you pass in uh, your movie player view controller object. I'm going to save it. I'm going to run it. Okay, now when I click play, this these, um, these lines of code are, are going to get executed. And as you can see, see it's loaded up the um, the movie view controller and it's loading the stream. And so furthermore, if I rotate it, you can see that it rotates as well. So that's really nice. Okay. Now you notice that when I click play, it launches, it presents a new view controller, right? So what if I wanted to play that video? kind of in line just right there. Well I can use the other thing I should I kind of mentioned before uh, before we use this example. You see how there's MP movie player view controller? That's the one we just used. So if you use uh, MP movie player controller instead, that's the one we can use for inline playing. So if we go back down here, MP movie player controller alloc. And it also has this init with content URL. Um, there's a couple of additional properties we gotta set. Because the player is gonna sit in the view, you gotta have specify its frame, basically uh, the X and Y origin and its height and width. So So the movie player has a view which we can set the frame on. CG ref make, I'm gonna put it at zero, zero, and I'm going to set it to the width of this view controller. And for height, let's say, let's say 320. Uh, that might actually skew the, the movie itself, but I'm not sure uh, what aspect ratio the movie's at. 
Okay, so we don't use this present movie player view control animated anymore. Instead, what we do is we we add this view, we add the player's view into this view controller's view. So self dot view add sub view player dot view. And I'm not sure if we have to actually call play on it. Let's see what happens. I think we do actually. So yeah, when you click that play button, you can see it's put, um, it's added the movie player's view onto the, the view, but now we have to play the, play the stream. Okay, so we call player, uh, it's a method play. Okay, so let's give it a run. And to run it, you either press Command R or you can hit this play icon in the upper left. Okay, so when I hit play now, it's going to run that code and the movie will actually start playing because the last line of code is to start the movie player. And that's how you can play a video in line. So you can see it's pretty easy to play video streams and you got a couple of options as well. So I hope that gets you started. Uh, in playing videos in your own apps. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues with the, the sh YouTube share buttons. And if you're interested in my video course, I'm running a contest right now. Just uh, follow the URL in the description to go to my site and you're going to see a banner at the top. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.